This vlog contains content that some might find annoying. Here's the story. Johnny was a good little boy. He always did what his parents told him to. He brushed his teeth, got in bed on time, put up his dishes after supper, washed behind his ears. The perfect child. Johnny's parents loved him very dearly, and Johnny loved his parents very dearly. They were, perhaps, the model family, and Johnny, the model child. Then, one day, Johnny became of age to go to school. He was so excited. He had his backpack on, his lunch was packed, he had everything that he needed. He woke up early and was ready, absolutely ready to go. Him and his mother walked out of the house together, holding hands. When the bus arrived, she kissed him through tears and let him go. And he would have been in tears if he hadn't been so excited. When he got onto the bus, <clears throat> he sat down behind some of the not nicest boys in the school. However, their conversation at the time was not particularly not nice. In fact, their conversation intrigued Johnny and he began to overhear. And when he heard something about a purple wombat, Johnny couldn't help but ask, Excuse me, what, what's this about a purple wombat that you boys are talking about? And they glared at him. You don't know what the purple wombat is? N no. Are you serious? You don't know what the purple wombat is? And so they ridiculed Johnny all the way to school, giving him such a ribbing he had never, ever, ever had to deal with at home. He was in tears. They were streaming out of his eyes. He could not help but bawl the whole way there. He could hardly find his classroom. His, his eyes were foggy with tears. And when he finally got to his desk and sat down, his teacher happened to notice him. She was a very kind soul. She walked gently and gracefully over to Johnny and said, What's wrong, Johnny? I was... <laughs> the boys on the, on the bus, they, they were making fun of me. Oh, why were they making fun of you? Because I, I didn't know what the purple wombat was. His teacher's previously gentle nature transformed into a perplexed and disturbed and rather angry tone. What did you say, Johnny? <laughs> what? You don't know where the purple wombat is? A student in my class doesn't know what the purple wombat- The teacher, in her anger, dropped Johnny's pants right there and gave him the spanking of his lifetime. And she grabbed Johnny by the ear, whisked him into the principal's office, and sat him down. Now the principal at this time was on the phone, so he was No, don't bother me, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking. So they waited, and a few minutes later, the principal came out of his office. What's this I- <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this all about? What kind of trouble have you gotten into on the very first day? Before Johnny could even get his thoughts together, his teacher blurted out Johnny doesn't know what the purple wombat is! The principal was completely awestruck and angry. What?! A student in my school doesn't know where the purple woman is! He was so angry, he grabbed his paddle out of the closet, dropped Johnny's pants, and wah, 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 wah. He was very uncomfortable sitting down. Let's just put it that way. He sent Johnny home. Johnny was absolutely in tears. The tears that he had earlier didn't compare to now. He was sobbing. When Johnny gets home, his loving mother received him at the door. She was able to perceive what an awful, awful day that Johnny had had. She took Johnny into her arms, and she said, Oh, Johnny, what happened, sweetheart? <laughs> it was the worst, it was the worst day of my life. Oh, Johnny, what happened, dear? Oh, do tell me what it is that bothered you so badly. The kids on the bus laughed at me, the teacher gave me a spanking, the principal gave me an even worse spanking. Oh my God, I didn't know what the purple one that was. His mother, who never, ever got angry, her eyes turned to fire. You don't know? With the purple wombat? Go to your room! Go to your room! Wait till your father gets home! So Johnny, absolutely stunned, goes up the stairs into his room, falls on his bed into a heap, and finds more tears to cry. 
That's all. That's all I know to say. He just had to cry. There's nothing else you can do. I can't imagine. Well, Johnny waits in his room for two hours until his father gets home. His mother called him home from work because of what had happened. Johnny, through his window, could see his father pull up into the driveway, and uh, he heard him come through the front door, and he didn't hear anything at all until suddenly, muffled from downstairs, What? Thunder, thunder, thunder. He hears his father come up the stairs. He slings open the door. Johnny is terrified. He's never seen his father like this. And his father, ever angry, just bellows, You don't know the purple one that is! I can't believe a son of mine doesn't know the purple one! Johnny's father grabs him by the ear, drops his drawers, gets the most wicked pile you've ever seen in your life, and commits to spanking Johnny. Wham, wham, wham. And Johnny got the worst spanking of his ever lifetime. Even worse than the past, like, three he got in that day. And he is crying, crying, crying. And his father gives, How oh, can I? You're lucky you're still in this home. I can't believe my son would do such a disgraceful, dishonorable act. Oh, I can't believe. Johnny's father comes out and he just slams the door. Johnny's father slams the door, only to open it up again and yell through his lividness. Lividness. Don't you leave your room for a month. And, and he slams the door and walks out. And Johnny sits in silence. He cries all the tears he has left to cry. And when he could cry no more, he heard a voice. Johnny. Johnny. Who, who's there? It was pitch black. It's me, Johnny. The purple wombat. The purple wombat? I can't see you. I know, Johnny. I'm invisible. Oh, dear. I've had the most awful day. I know, Johnny. But now you need to trust me and get rid of all the shame of today. Okay, I'll, d I'll do anything. Poor Johnny. Only like five years old. He's been humiliated on his first day of school. He's gotten paddled by his principal very, very hard. And uh, not to mention paddled by his teacher in front of all the other students. And his father and mother have practically disowned him. The only people he's ever loved think he's trash. And he feels like trash. Poor Johnny. Johnny, listen to me. I need you to listen to me. Go to your window. Open it. And climb out your window. And down the gutter. But, but my father said I'm supposed to... You want to be ridiculed for the rest of your life. Johnny. No, no, I just want people to love me again. Then listen to me and open your window. <gasps> okay. So Johnny, very quietly, climbs out the window, down the gutter, and into his front yard. Hello? Hello? It's okay, Johnny. I'm here. I promise I'm not going to leave you. Now go walk across to the other side of the street. And Johnny, uh, kind, of, kind of confused at this point, said, But, uh... But, but I'm not supposed to cross the street. My mother and father said not to, and I... Johnny, it's your parents, your very parents, who want you to trust me. Don't you think they would understand? Now do what I tell you. So Johnny, rather perplexed, looked both ways, made sure it was safe, just like he was always taught, and walked across the street. And then Johnny had no idea where the purple wombat was. But he heard a voice coming from the park nearby. Johnny! Johnny, come! So Johnny began to walk through the park, and he walked and he walked, following the voice of the purple wombat. Pretty soon they came to a lake where there was a boat with two paddles, and Johnny heard the voice of the purple wombat hovering above the rowboat. Johnny, come, get into the boat. I don't know that that's safe. Trust me. Do you want to be ridiculed? You have to trust me. So Johnny cautiously got into the boat and he heard nothing else. Then he heard the voice of the purple wombat once again, hovering over the waters about 50 yards ahead. Johnny, row to me. Row to me in your boat and come forth. So Johnny rowed and rowed and rowed until he got out into the water. Then Johnny arrived at the middle of the lake and he heard the purple wombat above him. Johnny, come to me. But I can't see you. Johnny, come to me. I am above you. Johnny stood up in the boat, but when he stood up, he lost his balance and fell into the lake. Johnny's parents had never, ever, ever let him near the water for fear that he might drown. He didn't know how to swim, 
and he sank into the lake. Now, the moral of the story is this. Never stand up in a boat.